So here's an uh, here's a concept video for you too. We're looking at you know so bought a house, bought a homestead. Last couple of years we've been putting together a lot of stuff, right? So in the mail we get this letter that says the county assessor is going to come through and the county assessor is going to assess your property for you. Okay, I need someone to come through and assess my property for what? Oh, well the county wants to know how much it's worth or put a value to it. Oh, so you want to put a value to my house because you want to raise my taxes and the property taxes. Which to me, I think property taxes is the biggest scam there ever is. Why? Well, here, let's put it into perspective. You buy a house, you have property taxes. You remodel, you build, you add to your house. You pay taxes on the wood, the supplies. If you hired a contractor, you hire a contractor. He pay taxes on stuff. You pay taxes on everything. You pay state taxes on things. You put your sweat, labor, and equity and putting everything together. And now the state's gonna come through the county guy is going to come through and go, oh, good job. You improved your house. You made it better. Well, now we feel your house is worth more. You owe us more. Wait, wait, why do I owe you anything? Like, you know, why do I have to pay you more taxes per year? I think it's crazy that we have to do it. Then, on top of that, you have, I think when we first moved in, the school. Remodeled and built the school. So they put in the... They put in our little thing during the election. Yes or no, vote for whether or not you want this referendum. Well, here's the thing. Why do people who don't own a house get to vote on things that raises property taxes on a house? So that's one thing that I have. I mean, I don't like property taxes in general. Why do people who rent an apartment get a choice whether or not to raise my property taxes? When you rent, you have the ability to walk away at any given point when the rent goes up or if you feel like there. You have no commitment to renting. When you buy a house or a homestead, you buy a homestead especially, you're committed. You want to be there, but we don't want to be penalized for being there. And that's what it turns out to be. You know, people who do not have any sweat equity in the game, people who rent, can vote. And more than likely, they have several people in their house who are gonna vote. And when you don't care, it's like with the welfare system. When you don't pay for it, you don't care. Because it's not your money. When it's your money, and you actually go, ooh, you know, it's gonna mean I have less, then yeah, you generally do care, and it's usually no. But there's more of those people who don't care, then there's more who do. So yeah, they want to build a new school, cool, I get it, but they wind up destroying the taxpayer. They wind up destroying my, you know, the property guy, the guy who owns the home. So now, I mean, to me, property taxes is a joke. You can purchase and buy your complete house, and yet they can basically property tax you out. They could raise the property taxes to the point where you're forced out and you can't even pay it, but yet you own the land, you own the house. I mean, this is one of the concepts that I watched in the movie Yellowstone. It's what they want to do to the big rancher guy that owns everything out. They want to raise, they want to build this crazy casino and crazy stuff and build up the land next to his property so that it doubles the property taxes and then he's forced out. But he owns the land, right? To me, it's theft. It's theft on the greatest scale. And I get the whole point of property taxes, but at some point I look at it like, what am I getting for my property taxes? And if I look at it, half of it goes to a public school that I don't use, my kids don't use, and like, what do I get? Like, yeah, my neighbor kids go to it, and that's cool. I appreciate the school, but at the same time, I don't think schools need to have, you know, this big mansion style thing. I think schools need to be reformed and I think you need to go back to the roots of education and not these McMansions and putting everything together. But, I mean, that's my rant here, I guess. And that's probably kind of crazy and it's a little bit annoyed, but 
in my opinion, robbery taxes are one of the greatest theft we have. And I look at it like it drives people out. It drives people out from owning homes. It drives people out from trying to homestead. I mean, if I ever pay this, you know, once the house is paid off, and let's say shit does hit the fan, or excuse my language, you're, you're going to wind up doing what? You know, let's say we do have an economic collapse, but I still own the house. You know, let's say I have it paid off. Well, the government is going to come around and go, well, you owe blah, 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 $10,000 for the last two years in back taxes. Oh, oh, okay, but you didn't provide, you know, where were you for the last two years? You know, what am I getting from it? We've had an economic collapse, so there's nothing that's going to go on. I've been self-reliant. I have, you know, not used your services. It doesn't matter, right? They can still take your house. They can still take your land, and then they just evict you out. Why? Because in the end, you're just renting from the government. And it's pathetic. And you're kind of left with two options. I mean, Barry and Dependent talked about it. You're left with two options, or maybe three. Fight, flight, or, you know, you just accept it and you have to sell off. And I don't think that's considered flight. I mean, you could trade with something with it. I don't know what you're going to trade. You know? I hope people are paying attention. But I don't think they are. I think property taxes are one of those things that people have accepted. And honestly, I didn't really have much thought about it until I bought a house. I'm going, you know what? What it actually is all this about. Because I never put it together. I mean, I don't think most people do until you buy a house. And they're like, where is this going and what is it for? So, uh, leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to. Thank you.